Hey Simlies, it's Silly Chrissy here and welcome to Let's Play The Sims 4 Cluedo Challenge, part one. Woo, I'm so excited. This is a challenge I'm hoping you guys have never seen on The Sims 4 because I just made it up. <laughs> um, I have not seen anything about Cluedo on The Sims 4. So if you guys have seen another LP about this or heard about the challenge in the forums or anything, I've never seen it. So this is probably gonna be completely different to whatever rules been outlined in a different one, but I'm hoping no one has done it yet because I got excited to create something new. <laughs> so fingers crossed. Uh, but anyways, if you guys don't know what Cluedo is, Cluedo is a very popular board game where it's a murder mystery game. So the aim of the game is to figure out who was killed with what object in what room of an old mansion. It's a really fun game and uh, basically it's centered around six characters and you choose those characters, one of those characters to play. So they're actually uh, your little, your little thing that you move around the board, your little board piece. And one of them is the killer and has died. So <laughs> trust me to do another LP with deaths. If you haven't watched one of my LPs before, my name is Deligracy. Real name, Madeline. I'm from Australia and I love The Sims. And my LPs have had a lot of deaths in them recently. I don't know what's wrong with me. Anyways, so in this part, I'm just going to explain the rules of the challenge. This is a challenge let's play. Uh, and we are yeah, just going to do the characters and I'll explain the rules. Right now we're working on Ms. Scarlet. And just as a heads up, we're going to completely start her from the beginning again, because I just wasn't happy with the way she was looking right now. So I don't know, I just wasn't into her face or something. So I start again. And I thought it was important to put it in the video because I make mistakes too, and you guys might want to see that, and I don't know, I think it's just good to show. So, the way we're going to do it in The Sims 4 is kind of going to be like working a little bit backwards from the actual board game. So if you played it before, this might take a little bit of time to get your head around it. Uh, but basically, what's going to happen is we're going to every episode of this Let's Play, we're going to roll a dice three times, all right? We're gonna roll the first time to select a sim, the second time to select a death type, and the third time to select a room in the mansion. So we have our six sims. We're going to num number them one to six. Number one being Miss Scarlet, number two, Professor Plum, number three, Mrs. Peacock, number four, Mr. Green, number five, Colonel Mustard, and number six, Mrs. White. And our death types, uh, Sims can either die by starvation, electrocution, fire, being enraged, hysteria, or mortified. So we're going to number them one to six. I'll put that in the description down below so you can keep track of the numbers. And then we'll also number the rooms one to six as well in the mansion. So if you watch the speed build uh, I did yesterday, I'll link that in the I'll link that in the description down below, but number one is the kitchen, two is the lounge, three is the study library, four is the dining room, five is the conservatory, and six is the ballroom. Um, so you guys are probably like, I don't get it. Okay, so <laughs> basically uh, with those three categories all numbered one to six, each roll of the dice will select one thing from that category. So for instance, on the first roll of the dice, okay, Miss Scarlet always goes first in the game. So she's rolling the dice first. So we roll the dice. Say if we roll a three, Mrs. Peacock is number three. So in that episode of the LP, we have to kill Mrs. Peacock and we're gonna roll the dice again to select how Scarlet is going to kill Mrs. Peacock. So we might roll a four to, actually no, we'll change that. We might roll another three and we'll kill her by fire because fire is number three. And we may roll a, I don't know, maybe we'll roll a five for the next uh, dice, which means we have to kill it in the conservatory. So Scarlet has to kill Mrs. Peacock in the conservati conservatory with fire. So that might seem pretty simple, but the conservatory room does not have a fireplace, which means Mrs. White is saved from death because we can't actually kill her that way. If she had been killed in the lounge room, then we'd have to try and start a fire. And when she's killed off, that means that she's eliminated from the game and we keep on going until all the Sims are dead. So the next person to roll would be Professor Plum. If they roll themselves, we just do another roll. Uh, 
And if they're dead or out of the game, then obviously we keep rolling until we get someone who's still in the game. But I just thought it would be fun. It also means we can have a look at all the death types and I can't wait, can't wait. <laughs> um, I don't know, why am I so messed up with The Sims these days? It's so weird. But anyways, I hope you guys are into it. I think it'll be a bit fun. I think it'll be kind of funny too. But uh, Colonel Mustard here, he, he is, um, I don't know, what was his... What was his uh, sim like? I think he was meant to be like dapper and dangerous in the game and obviously be characterized by mustard colors. He's got a mustache and he's got mustard colored hair. Uh, so I was just trying to pick an outfit that looks best, the best on him. I think Miss Scarlet is my favorite though. I think I liked her in the game all the time because she's that the lady. I always like the ladies in games, like in Power Rangers. I always loved the yellow Power Ranger. Could have liked the pink one, but I like the yellow one, uh, one of the girl ones. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much going to be the LP. So we're going to roll a dice each time. And it might be pretty hard, like to kill us in by, say, enragement. We might need a little bit of help from cheats because it's pretty hard to make them super, duper, duper, duper angry. But it just means we'll use our sim to keep at them and at them and at them. The other thing is, as uh, you travel into each room, the sims... They're going to be locked in those rooms and those rooms have only, like only certain objects. So in the kitchen, there's heaps of food, but in the ballroom, there may be no food. So they're going to be starving. There's not beds everywhere. Beds are only in a few different spaces of the house. I think there's two beds they can sleep in, so they'll get tired more easily. And as their needs depreciate, uh, that's also going to make the challenge more difficult because they're probably going to die more easily. And so that's going to be interesting too. So I don't know. They might die from like starvation randomly. I don't know. I don't know. I've never play tested it before, but I guess we'll see how we go. Uh, so yeah, I've made sure to put a lot of toilets connected to a lot of the rooms because I just don't, I don't want the Sims to pee themselves all the time. I already have that issue of Sims always peeing themselves in my let's plays. And so let's not encourage it. Okay. Okay. Uh, we also have... Mrs. White here. And Mrs. White, uh, in the game, she's always been portrayed as a maid or a servant. Uh, sometimes she's kind of made to look a bit more uh, sexy. Sometimes she's like an older maid. I decided to keep with the elder theme and I was finding it hard to find an outfit for her, to be honest. But in the end, we find one that I almost skipped over. So... Uh, that's good. I'm glad we, we found the right thing in the end, but we're going to go through quite a few outfits before we actually get there. Uh, but I did like the bun on top of her head. I wasn't sure how to actually unlock the maid outfit, uh, from the maid NPC characters. So I didn't know how to, how to get them. Uh, if you guys know how to get that maid outfit, I'd love to know because... I only know how to do it through getting mods or if you like get the maid to move in, make friends with the maid and then that outfit's out like unlocked. I don't think there's a cheat or anything. And let's be honest, we don't have time for that. So <laughs> we'll just uh, keep on moving on. And yeah, we're doing all of their outfits. Most of their traits are pretty obvious ones. Like Mrs. White is obviously tidy and neat, but she's also a bit evil. Scarlet's more flirty and materialistic and a bit of, and, uh, where is it? Mrs. Peacock is more of a snob. Um, and this guy here, his name is not Mike Anderson. This is Mr. Green. And Mr. Green, uh, is like a businessman. I think I love his green, his olive green suit. I kind of hope he wins. I don't know. I'm going for him. I, but I, if I have to make a guess right now, because you guys all have to guess in the comments down below who do you think is going to be the last one standing, because when we come back to this part one of the LP, we can all look to see who got it right. And you guys can't cheat and go back and change it because it says how long ago you posted the comments. So we're going to know who actually got it right. Uh, so I reckon the winner is going to be... Hmm... I reckon the winner is going to be Professor Plum. Mm -hmm. I think Professor Plum's going to win. Yep. 
My bet's in. Professor Plum's going to be the winner. The last sim standing. You let me know what you guys think. And for the dice, I'm just going to use, uh, I'm just going to use like an automated dice, um, online. So I'll just roll that on my screen. It's just randomized. So you don't hear loud, like tuk, 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 on the mic. <laughs> um, so that'll be easiest. And then Mrs. Peacock, I wasn't sure how to, how to create her. Mrs. Peacock's an interesting character. She's always been depicted as either an elder or mature aged woman or like middle-aged woman. Um, who's actually quite attractive and in a way snobby or sophisticated looking. Um, so attractive and kind of classy looking. Uh, so I decided the bun on top of her head, that loose up do was kind of well suited to her. At, at first I thought I'd give her that dress, but usually she has like a flapper style uh, with a big peacock feather sticking out of a hat or, or like a, um, what are those things you wear to the horse races that look really nice? Oh my gosh, I've forgotten. Hmm, brain fart. Anyways, um, yeah, she usually has like a peacock headpiece. So it took me so long to figure out an outfit that she could wear from The Sims 4, which without having flapper options, it took so long, <laughs> but in the end we get there. And of course she has a blue color because her game piece is always blue. Obviously Colonel Mustard is yellow. Mr. Green is green. Scarlet is red. White is white. And Plum is like a purpley color. Uh, those are the game pieces. This kind of worked with the brown and blue. You know what? We could have gone with that because... That's quite old school. This is when I'm trying to make the flapper look work. It was okay, but wasn't looking quite right. So we keep looking and we keep looking. And in the end, I promise we actually get there and find something for her. Oh, maybe she'll win. She looks shady as. I tried to give her peacock feathers here. Kind of worked. I think we get rid of them though. I don't mind them right now. At the time when I did it, I thought, nah, it just looks really tacky and she's meant to be all classy and fancy and snobby. I also tried her as an elder, but that didn't work. Uh, and we've already got Mrs. White as an elder. Oh, I hope she doesn't die during the game. Hmm. Oh my gosh. If she got romantic with one of the males, then we could kill her off by exhaustion. That's actually a thing. We could do that. I was going to uh, do uh, death by drowning, but then I realized they would have to roll death by drowning and then roll in like the indoor pool area. And the chances of getting that is pretty slim. So I thought, nah, that's, that's unlikely. It's unlikely. Uh, so yeah, she's, she's looking quite nice. Uh, we, we are almost there. We've almost figured out her outfit. Gosh, she was a, she was a tricky one, but I like the characters in, in the end. I hope you guys like them too. So do let me know what you think. And yeah, I tried to make them look very animated. So I don't know. I'll show you screenshots in a little while. I'll show you in a bit. And like I said, you can watch the Cluedo Mansion speed build if you want to. And that'll give you a few more of the game rules or I'll explain it again in that. So if you're having difficulty understanding this, uh, maybe that'll help. Maybe I, I explained it better the first time. But throughout the gameplay in the next part, you guys will get an idea for it. And like I said, it's not player tested. So we'll just kind of figure it out together and hope that it works. <laughs> and there we go. Mrs. Peacock is jealous, materialistic and a snob. She has some great formal wear outfits and I do like how she's got a super duper hourglass figure. I thought that was kind of cool. And she's got that massive bling necklace. Her matching blue exercise suit is pretty cute and uh, a blue nightgown. That nightgown looks so cozy, by the way. I like it. Me, likey. <laughs> and uh, of course, the look would not be complete without some epic gloves. So we put those gloves on and a big hat. Beautiful, Mrs. Peacock. Absolutely beautiful. And then we just have Professor Plum left. So Professor Plum, he is, what was his? Oh, he's an intellectual. Uh, yeah, super intellectual. His character usually always has a bow tie, but... 
There were just not many outfits with bro ties unless he was going to wear like a full on tuxedo, especially trying to find one that was plum colored or like a ready color. But in the end, we get several outfits. This was one that I was thinking of potentially, but all I could think of was Mortima Goth. Mortima Goth from The Sims. And I was like, I can't do that, can't deal. Nearly gave him that one too, but I just thought, nah, it's too formal. So we end up going with this uh, more, could you say casual look? I don't think so. Oh, I loved these checkered pants. Oh, they remind me of my grandpa's socks. He doesn't wear them as pants though. That says a lot, doesn't it? Uh, but yeah. And then of course he has the intellectual uh, traits and aspiration. And we're just giving him a few other clothes. It's so funny when we put him into the athletic category of clothes, he had that full on gangster outfit on. I was like, oh, Professor Plum <laughs> in the hood. <laughs> so I, I'm sorry, I had to change that. Anyways, here is Scarlet. Doesn't she look just outrageous? And then we have Colonel Mustard, looking very mustardy. Wish it was a bit more yellow. Oh my gosh, Mrs. Peacock looks crazy. So do type down below, who do you think is gonna be the last Sim standing? Uh, we'll also take nominations in the next part as well. Mrs. White and Professor Plum and Mr. Green. But anyway guys, Hope you enjoy this. I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. I'll speak to you soon. Bye.